Let's have some beer. What be going down, people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another Daily Drink Vlog. My name is Redbeard, and today we're cracking open a can of IPA number two by the Collective Arts Brewing Company out of Hamilton, Ontario. I saw this a while ago advertised on, I want to say Facebook maybe or something like that, and I was really looking forward to seeing it, and it's not available here in North Bay in any of our three LCBOs. I was passing through Sturgeon Falls, a small town outside of North Bay, stopped in their LCBO, and they had some. So, let's crack her open, and let's, and blah, 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 blah. let's see what we've got. Awesome start to the vlog. Nice repeat of yesterday. <laughs> Didn't mention yesterday either. I'm really sorry, but there was a good three or four days where apparently my background music, my Sony Vegas just decided to not put it in there for some stupid weird reason, but I'm double checking from now on. I apologize. That's a lot ahead. Let's get a picture. A little bit of sediment floating around in there for sure. The color of like orange juice almost or something. Looks really nice. You can see that too. Again, Collective Arts with their interesting... Uh, this All the time, they kind of highlight local artists and stuff. This is from Tiago Tipan from Flo Florianopolis in Brazil. Sure. I thought they were more uh, along the lines of highlighting local artists, but why not? Collective Arts Brewing is their website, .com. Check them out. Oh, that smells really juicy. Like the citrus aromas stick into my nose. Let's power through this head and give her a shot. Oh, the citrusy hoppy flavor making my eye itchy. It's so good. Wow. Mmm. Nice lingering bitterness. I like. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. Grapefruit. Definitely some grapefruit flavor in there, which if you've watched my vlogs for a while, not a fan of grapefruit, but it kind of works in an IPA. Like I've had a couple Rattlers and they made me want to kill myself. This is not having that effect on me. I'm pretty sure they, don't they usually put ingredients on this shit? I thought they did. It does say Mosaic, Simcoe, and Waimea hops, so that's not terrible. And we have the 4th of April of this year, so again, that's a brewed on date, also nice. But there's no reason to not just have your ingredients listed on there. Like, I'm assuming it's these hops along with water, yeast, and some kind of malt. But I don't know. 7.1%. A little more on the potent side than your average IPA, but the alcohol is not there. It's very well masked. Very well masked. That's just really nice. Really quite nice. Looking over here as well, I'm gonna bring it up over on this one as well. The beers, 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 here we go. They have got a crazy number of like year of year round beers. For some reason, I think I haven't actually reviewed the Saint of Circumstance. I've had it, it's good. I don't think I've reviewed it. The Rhyme and Reason was reviewed. State of Mind, I believe so. Ransack the Universe. I think that was had before my IPA had it happened and I didn't like it. I can tell you for a fact, I'm a big fan of it now. The Porter tried. I want to try this Radio the Mothership Imperial IPA. And if that's a year round release, then I'm really hoping it eventually makes its way here to North Bay. I have a can of your Prophets and Nomads Goze. 
tried the stash. And then we've got like your projects that you've done, which I should actually probably scroll down over here as I'm doing it over here. Big brain in my head right now. And there we go. You made an IPA number one. I'm assuming that's not available anymore. Mildly disappointed by that because it had citra hops in it. I like me a citra hop. Dry hop sour, imperial porter, another imperial IPA, a black IPA, a wet hop wheat. I tried that sour pumpkin saison. Wasn't really a fan. <laughs> to be honest, that was that was just a weird, weird idea. You know, good on you for being adventurous and creative and trying new things, but that one didn't really pan out well according to my tongue. This, this panned out beautifully. I'm really hoping that it makes its way here, actually in the city. It's a good half an hour drive to Sturgeon Falls to get more. Damn it. Beer advocate rating for this beer is 88, 41 ratings. So not too bad. Liked it a lot, really good. Superb IPA and a beer that should make it to their regular lineup. I cannot argue with that. Like this IPA, would recommend it to others. <laughs> well crafted, definitely recommended. This is a... Oh, somebody here didn't like it. Try this if you like pungent, bitter, and unusual IPAs. I don't think I'll be having this one again. A bit bitter and odd herbal medicinal funkiness right off the bat. Has a strong acetone alcohol flavor to it. <laughs> oh, some people are just crazy. Like, there's nothing medicinal in the flavor at all. Unless maybe you've been, you know, using homeopathic whatever natural remedies from the forest that involve, you know, like chewing on pine trees and shit, then maybe a little bit of medicinal qualities. That's hilarious. Like, everyone else loves it. It's close to... Whoa, whoa, really? Did I... I bought four cans of this. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna deny it. But, according to this, I didn't realize, I didn't... Look at the price. I buy a can of beer, especially something like this. It's an IPA. I figure, you know, three fifty tops. This guy just said it's close to five dollars a can. I mean, I spent like twenty bucks on four beers. Not overly impressed by that, to be honest with you. Can you actually? I want to. Okay. One second. I must find something else. Okay, I just went onto the LCBO website and hunted it down. And 345 a can. That's acceptable. Did this guy buy it up in the Northwest Territories or something? I don't understand. Hmm. Huh. I don't know. But yeah, for that price, that's acceptable. You know, it's, it's kind of, it's up there. Like, you know, kind of a bit of a premium price you're paying, but 7.1%? It's it's worth it, I'd say. It is really, really good. Really good. Wasn't able to find this on Rate Beer, oddly enough, but untapped, blah, 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 has 2,834 ratings, 3.92 overall out of 5, 80 IBUs, really, oh we got a different commercial description here, IPA number 2 is packed full, packed full being in all caps, so it's packed full, of Mosaic, Simcoe, and Waimea hops, this IPA is exploding with flavor, wait, that shouldn't be a comma, 
whoever wrote this has some grammar issues. Sorry. Beautifully balanced, these three should be a comma there. These three tropical citrus and pine heavy hops leave our IPA number two a heavy hitter and a hop hunter's dream. Our experimentation with New Zealand Waimea resulted in a rare harmony between dry, sweet, and bitter. The body is cloudy yet refined, using the malt backbone as a vessel to bring these hops to life. Drink this fresh, as it is sure not to be around for long. But like the other guy said, this is absolutely worth being made. Like, all the time. It, it should be around for long. It should always be around. I would be a, a, a regular consumer of this delicious treat. Awesome review here on Untap by one lady. Three letters. M M M. I can't disagree. Mmm. Mmm. Not a fan of the pineapple notes. I'm not getting like any pineapple whatsoever. Not as good as others, but still very tasty. Lies. Lies. This is fantastic stuff. Horse with a big head. It did. Go buy it while you can. Perfect example of a high quality IPA. Definitely going back to it before it's gone. Again, it's not here for whatever dumb reason. I might make the trip to Sturgeon again just to get some more. I might. Surprising, actually. Like North Bay, like I've said before, said it in this vlog before, three LCBOs and three beer stores here in town, plus the new Ontario Brewery. Plus, one grocery store where you can buy booze and one more where you're going to be able to soon. So there's, you know, there should be a lot of variety. But at the same time, I am literally down to maybe 15 beers left. Excuse me. Like, I, I seriously need to go out of town and visit some more liquor stores that have different stock and more breweries that have things only available at the breweries and more breweries to, to love me and send me stuff because <laughs> yeah this is the daily drink blog thing I don't know it it might have to come to an end relatively soon and I would hate that <coughs> noticing now I've been recording for like 15 minutes I'm not a fan of that. It's it's strong. <laughs> like it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't, it doesn't, blah, 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 blah. it doesn't taste strong. But the effects are being felt. I'm not gonna lie. I may have this may be one of a few vlogs that I have recorded this evening. I'm trying to keep ahead. You know. You know things come up and stuff and I can't re I can't reliably record the vlog edit the vlog upload the vlog all that stuff like daily so I need to pre-record I've said this before I'm just rambling now beer might be slightly it might have slightly permeated the brain a little bit it's getting in there it's working its way through my system love this <clears throat> come to think of it like going back to that collective arts website here and their beers like I said the uh, ransack the universe wasn't a fan when I did the vlog but I like it now I like the same circumstance like the porter, just even the stash straight up ale wasn't bad. Like aside from that pumpkin sourness, weirdness, very weirdness. What if I'd like your black IPA? But I would like to try your black IPA. What's the ABV on that bitch? Let's see, 6.8, 6.8. 
I believe this Imperial is that eight or nine. Eight and a half. That's a powerful beer. What about the other, this mothership one? Eight and a half again on a hundred IBUs. Oh, mosaic, citra, and Simcoe hops. Hey, yeah. Beer make tired. Want to try your Imperial IPA? Drink number last. Oh, that's lovely. Collective Arts Brewing, your IPA number two rating. It's a nine and a half. I, I like almost ingredients but not quite no reason to not have ingredients on can half mark off that's that's it that's the only thing that's the only thing i can say bad about that beer because i love it and it would have been a fucking 10. that's gonna do it for today's daily drink vlog thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it then be sure to smash that like button if you want to see more of my videos and be sure to smash that subscribe button and if you've got something to say to me put some comments in the box down below thanks again and i'll be back with another daily drink vlog tomorrow a peace out God damn it. Almost 19 minutes I've been recording now. Better be able to edit a bunch of that out.